we talked about missing teeth and uh, you explained very well the uh, the problems a missing tooth could potentially create um you know teeth shifting in it and getting all crooked and even making teeth in front out of alignment teeth in front breaking because you're eating too much biting too much in the back in the front because uh, uh, of the back teeth kind of missing however the biggest thing you mentioned is that it can create migraine headaches neck pain shoulder pain because of the hinges here the um being becoming basically uh, uh overused on and and um and misused um you know i mean you crook you get like a door hinge one of them is missing and the other one will then eventually uh, you know collapse so what are some of the major ways of replacing a missing tooth uh, you know, we don't want to go into, into super detail because that's your job and we're not so interested in it. But what we do want to know as patients is what are some of my main options and what are the pros and the cons of each one of them? Uh, what new inventions have there been, if there have been any new uh, things at all in terms of replacing missing teeth and by doing so avoiding headaches, avoiding bad looking, avoiding not chewing and all that stuff which comes with it. Well, uh, to replace the missing teeth, we go from dentures to implants. Dentures being the least expensive and implants being the most expensive. So depending on your um, financial situation or depending how uh, you would like to resolve this problem, we create a treatment plan. It is very important to uh, fix to replace the missing teeth. And once we start uh, the treatment, then you will see as we go ahead, we, we see, you see yourself that which works better for you. I explain in my office pros and cons of dentures. Uh, some, you know, sometimes it's very uncomfortable to have something being removed every time from your mouth and you eat something that's under, or it's not that comfortable for the person. There are also bridges, if it's possible, to uh, uh, replace uh, missing teeth if you have teeth, you know, um, on each side of the missing te teeth, then we can place a bridge. But again, it, if the teeth, the teeth that's going to hold the bridge are good, healthy teeth, why would I uh, prep them for the bridge, meaning cutting a good, healthy tooth? to create uh, like a legs to support the bridge. That's, you know, that's the con uh, of the bridge. And the best, the best way to go are implants. The implants are replacing the actual missing tooth going in, in the bone to create a root of the tooth and uh, then replacing with the crown. Very convenient. It doesn't, you know, it stays there until as long as you keep a good oral hygiene and see your dentist uh, regularly, it stays there for the rest of your life. I see. So, so you're saying the the implant in most cases. Let's just talk about the bridge in the in, in the implant because let's just say if there's one or two teeth missing, then a, a denture or such isn't really needed. Uh, even though no. I guess I guess you have this like just simple a single teeth removable. I don't know what you call them. Um, Flippers. A, a flipper. Um, and again, it's a, it's really kind of like usually only if temporarily there is no money there to kind of like get you over with. Uh, but I guess it does do the trick of keeping uh, what you call the occlusion, keeping the keeping the the mouth aligned. Keeping right. Good. And also, it's preventing preventing the teeth from shifting to you know to different directions. So, right. Uh, so so to other, less. other teeth will not become crooked other because teeth don't of move. right. Good. All right, um, and you're not using the front teeth to bite only because that back tooth is there, even though it's Absolutely. a little un yes. un uncomfortable. So now let's go to the, to the bridge, which, as you said, you have two teeth and it's the one missing. You, you grind those two teeth down, you put a crown over it, and you hang a, a, a one in between, just like the Versano bridge, um, you, right. know, you know, in it. And um, that has been around for a long time and, 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 and has a great workability, right? Yes, yes, it works beautifully. The only concern is that we have to grind good, healthy teeth that are holding that bridge. Mm -hmm. So if, if we can avoid that by placing an implant, by meaning replacing only the missing tooth, 
it it's it's gorgeous it's beautiful you don't have to ruin the other two teeth by mm. just by grinding to hold the the bridge why because obviously if you have then three teeth together so if you grind at them so now that becomes a chance that one of those two teeth is going to eventually break also uh, for whatever reason and from whatever whichever part now you need to replace all three because they're all three connected all three. yeah like yes. I, um, I learned that um, I, I, one time I was uh, smart and bought some fax machine, which was a scanner, a fax, a telephone. Um, it did something else, printer. So, printer, yeah. and it's nice and dandy, except if one of them breaks, you have nothing. The whole, yep. <laughs> so <laughs> after. I, after, after it did break, I kind of said, you know what, let's get all of them separate. Yeah, you know, so that the rest of the operation is still going on. Uh, if uh, if one breaks um, now is it true that people with a bridge because it's kind of like three pieces or four depends on how many teeth are missing um, are together they're like literally welted together um, I mean, they're, they're made together and now you have a hard time flossing in between it's not possible so you need you to floss. Right. you need to, 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 to thread it under now me let me give you a scenario I go to the bathroom with my wife at night and we start you know uh, uh, brushing teeth and stuff. She is still brushing and flossing. I do the showering, the shaving. I, I, I'm done. And I sit there and say, so honey, well, how, how much longer? And she says, well, another couple of minutes with my flossing. And I'm already done with everything. So I would most likely be quite often not floss on that tooth. I would say, nah, not today, tomorrow maybe. And, and that then causes uh, uh, gum disease, which in itself is super bad, as you mentioned. Uh, but at the same token, it will now make that bridge failing earlier. Is is is, is yes. there some truth to that? Absolutely. If you do not keep your uh, bridge or oh, teeth, anything, if you don't keep it clean, you don't clean under the collection of food. It creates all the bacteria, which causes gum disease, and that gum disease causes bone disease. So you end up with. Uh, your gum receding, your bone going down, and then the teeth cannot, uh, the teeth get rotten under the bridge. Uh, you get a very bad smell in your mouth, and also you start to uh, lose the bone that holds those teeth. That then you end up losing the the bridge completely. Right. So now we are back to the problem where again you have to uh, replace the missing teeth. Right. Now, you do, of course, have to floss and do all that stuff with an implant tooth also. It's just a little easier and, and of course, a it very... It is actually my, much easier. Right. Now, my wife it would is probably, much easier. My wife would probably do fine with a bridge because she's, you know, dedicated to the detail. Um, uh, uh, incredible. Uh, but some of us are not. And then, there's the, so, and then the implant... Is there any data that the implant really lasts a long, lo a lot longer? Have, have it been around for so long that you can say yes, it does last, uh, you know, a long, long time? Yes, it's actually been around for I would say over 40 years now, and it's be becoming more um, uh, affordable to people. It is less expensive. It is much more affordable. It is. You know, before well, it used like, to be like, very limited doctors who did it. Right. Now it's, uh, you know, widely spread and it, mm. we can uh, place implant in the it's, it's Placing an implant is easier than taking a tooth out. So uh, people, I mean, we, I give this consultation with a patient. We have uh, a, a huge discussion about it so patients understand uh, all the pros and cons. And uh, they, they see how much easier and better it is to have implants versus bridges or dentures. All right. Well, the technology probably, you know, as you said, more doctors using it, today, like with everything else, as, as you cell phones in the 90s, where you know a lots of money now they cost they, they give them to you for free more or less and um so that it's that type of stuff saying so you know the material become better i think you guys are using titanium the same way they use for hip implants hip replacements right that's what you're using yes. in, in, in we in use the, titanium for implants yes right now it's a good and they actually, I want to mention that the price for implant is uh, very close to the price of a bridge. 
So why would you, you know, pay that much money for the bridge when you can get an implant and not ruin the teeth that holding the bridge? Well, it makes sense that it is. I'm glad you mentioned that. It makes sense that it is because on a bridge you need three crowns. You need three ceramic caps, so to say, and they cost money. Um, and on yeah. an implant you only need one. So, one. so that's why actually, you know, the price, there is no real difference, you say, right? Right, because for the uh, for the bridge you're paying for three separate, cr I mean for three crowns, but for the implant you're paying you're paying for the implant itself that goes inside your bone and for the crown that's holding it. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's that's why the price is very very close to the bridge. So I would you know. Um, mm -hmm. And what about the bone loss when you have an implant in it? Even if it's a, you know I mean it is a fake thing, it's a metal stick in it, but it resembles the root of the tooth for the body. So the body thinks there's a tooth in it and then the bones are not shrinking where when you have a, a bridge, those two teeth in between or where you don't have a tooth, where just the bridge is hanging down, it, the gums there have a tendency of shrinking. Is that right? That's right. Uh, the bones because actually, not so much the, the gums. Bone, right, the bone, right, because the gum is shrinking with the bone. Uh, again, it's only because of the oral hygiene. If you don't keep clean under the bridge it gets you know all the bacteria and the bacteria causes the uh, destroying it's destroying the bone and the gum that's and that's the reason well wonderful um very very um you know informative we we now know and then the technology has improved because you know we still keep hearing implant and automatically we keep hearing uh, you want me to buy a Ferrari. I don't, I don't want a Ferrari. I don't want such an expensive car. I just want a car which gets me from A to B. Well, the implant is a normal uh, uh, Volkswagen, a normal people car, and it gets you from A to B better than the other thing, and it doesn't have the price of a Ferrari anymore. That's basically what you're saying. Yes. Beautiful. And that doesn't even count that if you have to replace the bridge, that is money and hassle uh, on top of it where the implant doesn't, in most cases ever have to be replaced anymore most yes most of the time it doesn't it's i mean it, there are some uh, conditions of course concerning your health general health if you have diabetes uh, sure. not controlled diabetes or very high blood pressure something like that uh, but we again we all discuss it at the uh, right. consultation and we take everything right. into consideration but other otherwise uh, a healthy uh, controlled uh, person have has no problem uh, having an implant for the rest of their lives.